Welcome back to another hobby. Today is cosplay. Today, I will be showing you how I made this Master Chief helmet from Halo Infinite. I had to split it up into three separate sections because I thought it got a little confusing at some parts. So stay tuned for all those. And I got the template actually for the entire build from Hero Workshop, and I'll leave a link for that in the description below. What I did is I did all the basic construction for everything, and then went back and did all the fine details later on. To start off the build actually, using the Pepper Kuro file, you do need to have that, and you do have to use it on Windows. So if you have a Mac, you have to download Windows. If you have Windows, great. It is a free application, uh, but basically it breaks down the three-dimensional object into pieces of paper. And the way I scaled it is I measured from this back section, like right on the inside of where the AI chip is, to the front topmost part of the visor. After you've got it all measured in Pepper Crew, you can print it all, and I printed it all on cardstock, and cut out all the individual pieces. And I labeled mine in the sections that I was building. So like the nose, the cheek, the visor, etc. The first section I did is this nose piece right here, and I opted to start by building from the front of the helmet all the way to the back, because the front is what's gonna get the most viewing when you're wearing it, but that's the first thing people are gonna see. Now first things first is cutting all the pieces out of foam from the template. And you can see I'm cutting this nose piece with an inside angle or a back angle on each side of the nose. Next piece is a rectangular shaped piece because I didn't like the way the template was shaped. So I'm just cutting a big outward angle cut on this piece. Now while just holding that piece that I just cut with the outward angle, I'm marking where the corner is right above the outward angle on the top piece of the nose so that I can know where to cut the V cut so that nose will fold over the under piece. Next I'm cutting a little V cut out of the back of that top nose piece so that the front will look like it has folded back over that under piece. Now I'm just using contact cement here, but I'm putting it on the under piece and on the top piece to just glue them together. Once that glue dries, you can stick the nose piece together and make sure that corner is gonna line up where your V cut is on that top piece of foam. Now I've marked where that top piece of foam is gonna fold down under and I'm just gonna put some glue on there to glue it down. Now once the glue is dry, just push those top pieces down and that fold should really show at the top of the nose piece there. Now the under part of the nose piece was a little long, so I used my ruler there to push a straight line across, and I'm coming back with my knife to cut that under piece so that it is flat all the way across. The next section is like this cheek piece and I made both of them at the same time. First cheek piece that's a triangle, I cut at an inward angle on the inside piece and on the next bigger piece of the cheek, I cut at an inward angle along the whole front edge of that piece. Next the design had a little slit here because the cheek is supposed to bend, so I just put some glue on it and glued that little slit together. And it gave it a little bit of a bend, but you might be able to just omit this part because it was designed for paper, not foam, and the foam will just bend anyway if you need it to bend. If you do end up cutting this slit, make sure you glue the edges together as flush as you can get them. Now to bend the foam, I am heating it up because the foam bends and keeps that bend easier after you heat it. Now as you can see, I'm pushing forward with my thumbs and kind of pulling back on the edges to give it a dome type of shape. Now 
Next is gluing the triangle piece first. And as you can see, I'm starting on the bottom of the triangle there, lining up that corner to corner. And then I'm lining up the edge the whole way to the top. Now once the whole front edge is glued, push the back part back so that the whole face or that side that you glued is touching the whole side of the nose piece. And that gives it that angle. Now once that triangle piece is glued on, you're doing the same thing for the bigger piece of the cheek. Now I actually forgot to cut this piece out of the design and this is where that front hose goes. So I redrew it on the piece that I've already glued and I had to hang it over the edge of the table so that I wouldn't be folding the helmet in a way I didn't want to. But I'm just going to cut that piece out and inset it. Now to inset this piece correctly, I'm not using contact cement this time because the foam is actually too thin and I want it to be about five millimeters deep, which that's how thick the foam is. So I had to just put a little dot of super glue and glue the very edge of the back piece to the very edge of the front piece to give it that five millimeters of inset. And the super glue is a little frustrating to use because it will get on your fingers. But once you put that drip on, grab a scrap piece of foam and kind of rub in where that glue kind of bubbles out from the edge. Make sure you put that super glue all the way around and I just kind of did it in little sections. So I did like the back corner then I did the front and then I did the other back corner to get the whole piece glued back in. Now for the top cheek piece here, I cut it at an inward angle on the bottom of that piece so that it would sit perpendicularly to the big cheek piece. And I'm gluing it corner to corner and edge to edge the whole way across. So this next piece is up right at the edge of the visor, kind of like above the cheek. This is what it looks like. Um, you can see how I've drawn it out here with those extended edges. And that's because I want those edges to just glue to the back of the helmet, except for this edge right here will glue flush to this cheekbone. So if I hold the piece of paper up, you see how that back one is going to be back behind gluing to this piece. That's why we'll have that little extended edge and the other that little part that we're not going to cut is just gluing flush straight to this cheekbone. So that's why it's cut like, or it's uh, drawn like that. Time to cut it. Okay, so for gluing it, I'm going to glue this flat part that we didn't cut. And it's a little, like a little teeny bit long right there. You can see that gap. I'm just going to mash it in so that it's flush. Um, and then on the back side, I'm not even going to glue it to this top of the cheek part, I'm going to glue it to the bigger cheek piece. And I know it's going to leave that little gap there. I'll just go back and fill that in later with like uh, some kind of putty. Okay, here it goes. The gluing the top piece on. I'm going to glue this back edge first because that's what I want to be flush. Just going to get that stuck and then just stretch it to fit. And there we go. Perfect. And I'll glue the back side in just like that. So next step is gluing this back section in. Or I say section, this little back part of that little flap, I guess I'll call it. I'm just going to put glue on the bottom right below my line. And uh, basically just put it where I think it's going to go on the back side of the cheek pad.
All right, once that's dry, you can go ahead and just uh, glue it on. I'm gonna kind of line up that line with that inner crease there. There we go, and just pinch it together. Okay, now I'm going to go over that line that we made because I've cut out these little pieces that we're just going to put right on top. All right, now that the glue is dry, I am going to start actually from this bottom corner here because I want that to line up and I can just kind of stretch the rest to fit. So starting with that corner, there we go. And I'm just working my way up. Use that corner as a reference so it lines up. This piece, just I'm starting up here, corner to corner there. And there we go. Make sure that fits. And there's actually supposed to be a little bit of a bend to this one, so you see if you connect that corner to that corner, it's going to force this kind of bow up like that, which is actually what we want because there's like a little pipe or tube coming out of the helmet right there. So it's actually not bump bending up as much as I would like, but oh well, I might add something in later. In the next section, I jumped up to this top part of the visor and I'm making them basically in two separate halves and I'll put them together after I construct them all. So for the bottom of this uh, like hat part that overhangs his helmet, there is this like little engraving area. So I'm gonna use my uh, wood burner tool and my knife. First I'm gonna basically trace this outline. I'll do it in pen. And then I poke two holes here so that I can poke two holes, not deep, but just markers so I can get those lines. And then these lines I'm gonna do with my knife as well. So let's start with the marker and mark it all down. thumbtack to put two dots so I know exactly where I'm going and I'm going to put a little dot at the edge of each line here so that I know where to put these lines because so they will just be intersecting of those dots same with this part so I've got the hole and then the dot hopefully I can see this all right there yeah looks good Okay, so then there's the dot, there's the hole. Let's do that line. I'm not gonna freehand this one. Yep, okay. That's good enough. I'm going down to that mark. And then all of these, I will not freehand. check that that looks pretty symmetrical and it does okay I'm gonna take my knife and I'm going to cut not all the way through but maybe just like a couple millimeters down with my knife all the way through the outline and along those lines and then I'm gonna use my heat gun to kind of open it up and then I'll use my wood burner to really open up and make it look like uh, some real indentations there Okay, now once you have all those holes cut, or not the holes cut, but the lines scored in there, you just wanna blow uh, heat on here. 
and it will kind of open up those scored lines. Okay, I probably shouldn't have done that right on this map, but oh well. Yeah, so see that kind of opened it up. That's good. Eyes are still pretty flat. I bent this up earlier, so I'll kind of rebend that up with my heat gun. Okay, now take the wood burner and very carefully go over the lines that we just cut to widen them a little bit more. And you can use this technique later on in the project if there are other lines that you think need to be seen better. Okay, and that's that. So now it has that kind of little design in there. I think that actually worked really well. All right, next I'll be connecting this thin piece right to the bottom part of this visor. And there is gonna be a little bit showing, so I'm probably gonna glue about half of it on. And what I did actually is this piece was two, it was this little piece was the, what I had to cut out, but I just, drew it on the foam, flipped it over, and then drew it again so that it was one piece and I didn't have two pieces I had to glue together. But that way I know where the midline is, and, or the middle point, I guess. Then I measured the midpoint on this piece as well. So now I can just line that up. And to make sure it was symmetrical and even on both sides, I went and drew a, lot, a little dot there on the corner for the visor and a dot here for that corner and measured that section and that section. They were both like maybe a millimeter off, which is all right with me. So now I know that I can line this up when I glue right there and I'll probably actually start on this corner and maybe start on that corner and then just work towards the middle as I'm gluing it. Like I said, I'm using this dot that I had and I know that goes right on the corner. So I'll start there. Instead of going corner to cor or, uh, corner to the center, I'm just going right down the center. Try to line that midpoint up as best I can, while keeping it about the same depth the whole way. this one attached like that okay and this one it has like a curve it's like flat here or sideways with the face and then it connects to the visor part and it's twisted so all I did was just kind of curled it and twisted it and it is held, holding its shape so we're gonna roll with that okay once that glue dried put it on attach them together. I'm most worried about this corner, so I'm going to start up there with that corner because they are flush together. Okay, there we go. All right, so time to glue. It is dried a little bit. I'm gonna start with this front edge because I want that to be the most uh, together, I guess I'll say, or the most even. Let's see if I can get it in view here. And I'm really just starting with the edges here 
to make sure the edges look good. Yep, just going right along the top, and then once it's all there, press it all down. Okay, next is gluing the next side piece on, or the next piece up, I guess I will say. Once again, I'm starting at the tip of the, or the corner there. Make sure that that is the most even, because that's going to be seen the most, or almost the most on the project. There we go. Now this next piece that has to go on is, I cut it out of this thicker foam so it won't quite fit if I line that corner up. It's pushing right there so I'm gonna have to shave off just a little bit of, uh, of that foam. So I'm gonna use my box cutter. I'm just gonna cut off like uh, half of it-ish. That should be enough. I mean, this section won't even be seen, so do that. Check the fit again, and there we go. So now we have enough space, at least, to line up the corners there. Once the glue is ready, and after you've cut off that piece, once again, corner to corner, and just uh, make sure that edge is nice and clean. There we go, and just push it down. We have these thin pieces, again, corner to corner. And I've cut that one, you can see, at an angle right there um, so that this one kind of tilts in, and I cut this side at an upward angle, I guess. Instead of in, I cut it out so that when I put this on, it'll be basically be level, or uh, perpendicular to this part of the visor. There we go. Alright, and last piece kind of on this section is this middle uh, square looking piece, which is going to be a little difficult because I'm going to have to hold everything apart so I don't glue both sides at the same exact time because I want it to be, as usual, corner to corner and perfect. Okay, so that side is on. Do the same thing as best we can with this other side. Make sure everything gets pressed together. Alright. Uh, this like side piece kind of goes like over the temple um, It is inset a little bit from there, so I'm just gonna start um, Start it actually going at this corner up here attaching it up there and working my way down. I've glued that so We'll get the inset later This one I really want to get it corner to corner and get that edge nice and flush. Perfect. The next section I did after finishing the visor part is this kind of side jaw section. It's more like an extension of the cheek but it goes all the way down to here. Alright so for the top of this cheek piece I've cut out all the pieces here already. I have to put a little cut in the back of this one so that this one can fold down um, or else it's, it just doesn't work. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of holding this piece up to where I am going to line up the edge there and since I've kind of angle cut that edge I'm just going to line that up because it looks like when I fold it that's exactly where it's going to need to lie. So I'm going to put a little mark right at the corner where I want it to be cut. And I'll just take my knife and cut a little groove, probably about halfway through this piece. 
I'm just gonna go the whole length here. And make sure it got cut through there. Three times, okay. And then I'll come back on the other side. Make sure you don't cut all the way through the piece, or else then you're just gonna have extra gluing. I guess it won't be the end of the world, but there we go. So I have that, and when it folds, it gives that little corner there. And I'll test it out up here. Yep, when I glue that together, it is going to just create that little fold line after I glue it onto this other piece. So I added a little extra space just like before, so I would make sure I have enough area to glue this piece to the rest of the helmet. And you can basically do the inside of that little V cut uh, the same way as the rest of the gluing. Just kind of pull it apart here, get some glue on the inside of both sides. And we know we're gluing this piece straight on like there. I only want it to overhang because this is actually set back in the team, but I'll show you for example like this. It's not flush like that. It is back set just a teeny bit. So I'm only gonna I'm gonna leave like two millimeters unglued and that will kind of be my glue line. Okay, now for gluing it. I'm going to just glue these this uh, V cut together. Then I can just take this and line up that corner and I'll start here. Remember it's back set a little bit, so I'm not going corner to corner this time for once. <laughs> it could have been a little better, but oh well. You can see where it's a teeny bit thinner right there and a little thicker of a push down back there, but that's all right. I don't think it's going to show too much once it's all put together. All right, starting this one, I'm starting corner to corner with this top piece that we put on first, because I want those to be as equal as I can get them. Okay, once you got that corner, that very edge put together, then I'm going down making sure that they line up and as I'm doing that this is kind of where it gets tricky gluing it also to this piece here without letting this piece go too far back or too far forward there we go because I want it to look pretty even along that whole way which I am happy with that all right for this bottom piece um, there are no special cuts on it, there's that inward angle cut on the piece before it, so I'm going to start like we did with the last one, corner to corner here, because that's what I want to be uh, correct or looking like it's most on. Boom. And just kind of work up that piece. Fold it in, keeping that flush there, and again, making sure this inner piece, good, this one doesn't fall back too far or come out too far. Okay, then this last piece, it's going to be a little tricky actually to get it um, to line up correctly. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start up here on this corner so I can get that lined up. Ooh, maybe I should have started on the other corner. Oh well. This piece is a little difficult, but just handle the foam. You don't have to be all gentle. Get that corner in. Okay. Try and get that as flush of a transition as you can. And then this piece, I'm just making sure that corner fits to there. Okay, so for attaching this kind of cheek piece here, I'm just doing it in little sections. I'm starting off up in this corner 
in kind of this side of everything and I've glued the same there so just that little part in this little area so we'll start with that upper corner first okay next I'll do that part all right for this piece I had to kind of hold it apart while gluing so touched a little there, oh well. So I'm just sticking this top part together. Perfect. Okay, and for this bottom, <coughs> excuse me, the bottom section of this piece here, um, lining it up with that corner, and you can see that's where it's not really off, so this is where you kind of have to pinch it up, and that gives it a little bit more of that uh, curl that I was talking about. It doesn't go all the way up, you can see it kind of curls back in right there, which is exactly how the piece is supposed to go. Okay, so now comes the part of attaching these two halves. So, in order to get this attached to this, the top attached to the bottom, I guess, I'm going to start, I think, with this, this, this corner and just work my way up. And again, this is kind of revealing like four millimeters. So I'm gonna make sure I have that all the way up. Perfect. There we go. So this little corner, uh, I put glue in and it doesn't wanna fit perfectly. So like I said, it's foam, you can kind of just push it to where you want it. I'm doing that corner, that corner right there. And just forcing it to fit. And for this piece, it is in set, like I said, so I kinda push it up there before I put glue on it to measure where it was gonna be. Then just put glue right where I wanted it. Now I can just glue it. And I want this edge to be as close to that edge as I can get it. 